Welcome back, everybody. So your boy was under the impression that it would be in poor taste to ride my bike while everybody else is at home sitting. So I wasn't sure what to do when people started asking me to moto vlog. So as a person who believes in democracy, I left it up to a vote and the result shocked me. So now that the votes have been tabulated, we know, let's get to this moto vlog. So before we start running down some desolate road and I'm just running my mouth about nothing, I thought we should have a subject matter. So today we're going to cover my new 30 millimeter carb and really why I don't think you should upgrade to one. I have done nothing to it as far as the jetting or working with the needle. I haven't even really messed with the air mixture too much. So let's go and see what's what. So first of all, I like to dedicate this this particular video to everyone who is following the rules and staying at home. I'd also like to thank those 48 people who voted in the poll to determine that I should do a moto vlog. And that's why we're out here, folks. So I want to tell you, in coming over here, the throttle is a little sluggish. She seems a lot slower than she was with my 26 millimeter straight out the box, I'm going to tell you honestly. And oh, you can see her perform a little bit. But it, it just, the response is decent, but I would compare it to when I had the 150cc engine in here. And I know with that 171, I can, I can expect a lot more torque when I have it jetted right. So right now, this is just a see how she does type thing. She's cruising, but not, okay, that's full throttle. And she sounds decent, she's just not as quick. And I can, I can tell, you know? get to know your bike and yeah that's not nearly as good as what I was pulling so again this is going to be a work in progress I know right now that the idle screw is way too far out and that's just to get her to breathe I mean I'm talking about maybe five full turns out almost to the point it wants to come out so that right there can tell you right there that it needs to be rejetted I did not check the jets at all I didn't mess with the car couple of good things that I like about the car would be that it has a real accelerator pump and not just a vacuum pump. Those vacuum pumps can be unreliable and I'd rather just not be dealing with that. And studying jetting, you never really know until you have to try it. And that's why I don't really recommend this carburetor. Guys, to get her to fit, it was a hassle. First of all, you got to have another air manifold. And that's why you saw in the picture the nibby one. But the problem with that was I didn't have room for the carb. That accelerator pump that I just mentioned that I love so much. At the bottom of the carb. There was no room with that in my motor mount in place to get it to fit. So to get it to fit, I had to modify the air intake coupling. I couldn't use the nibby one because it wasn't giving enough where I could bend the car and get her around the motor mount. So I took a rear radiator hose that was meant for my Camaro 
and it fit perfectly and it gave me the ability to bend. So obviously I'm going to start a new series on tuning this car. And let me answer a couple of questions right now I know some people are going to have. Why did I go with the CVK and not either a PWK, a round slide, flat slide? And the reason I did not was because I thought this would be a little bit easier to tune, seeing that I didn't even know what to expect with a 30 millimeter as she sits. So I'm assuming it's going to be a little bit easier to tune. We'll find out. But I think I'm going to start, I don't, again, don't even know what jets are in there, guys. But I think I'm going to start out with a 135 main and a 30 or a 32 pilot. I don't know as of yet. And then make sure I'm um, just two full turns out. I want to be somewhere in that range. Because right now, you could turn the fuel screw pretty much all the way in and the bike doesn't cut off. So you know the jetting's wrong. I'm surprised she started and was able to allow me to ride. The other question I might come across is why a 30 millimeter? I went from a 26, why not to a 28? A lot of people have success with a 28. But I figured it wasn't that much of a big difference between the two sizes. So why not go with the bigger one, you know? I knew I was going to be able to get it to start the bike. I just didn't know how much tuning it's going to take to get it to respond exactly like I wanted to respond. And right now we are a long way away from that, my friends. So. Everybody keep an eye out. I think I'm going to call this new carburetor tuning series. Let's see. Ooh. I think we'll call it the Dirty 30. Because guys, I think this is going to be a dirty job. But we'll see. So until next time, like I said, everybody try to stay home. I'm talking about all across the world. All right? I'm not going to do this too much more often because, again, I just get an eerie feeling. And to tell you the truth, I enjoy being around people. And being on these desolate streets when no one's out, that's not too much fun. So again, I want everybody out there to have a great night. No worries. Like so many other things in your life, we will get through this. I just want everybody to be safe. So at one point, we can ride together. Everybody have a great night. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out, y'all.